mistake 423 um, so when I did the ties on the side of the boat this I did them about an inch in on each side so of course gravity but the gravity just pulls down the, the tie so the side is the side hole is parallel to the, the baseboard which means the whole bottom is an inch lower than it's supposed to be so um, I'm trying to struggle with that try to figure out how to lift it up because I need to start placing the bulkheads but this needs to be in place first so what I figured out this morning is I'm gonna take these two by twos there's a short one just as an example and I'm gonna lay them up against like this hole right here and then um, I'll cut the ties raise the side up to the proper level and then run a hole run a drill I mean a, a, a screw through that hole right into the side of this and then it will sit right there and hold the side up in place that's the plan that's that's the plan <laughs> yeah the, the plans of mice and men so anyway let's get started on it so cutting ties has become a rather common occurrence here um i'll have to show you the garbage pail in a second it's just overflowing with ties from having done this to the bow like four times you see my thought is i should be able to lift it up and then through this hole right here a zip tie hole from the screw through there right into the side of this and this will brace right on the bottom hence holding it in place all right so you can see all right so you can see it's um moving from a good inch to a quarter of an inch eighth of an inch eh, it's almost flush back here so pretty happy as you can see here's the brace just drilled it in right through the hole do the same here all the way up so now i'm going to do that side i'm uh, doing the corresponding holes this i had to cut the i had to cut the things in the bow that was really painful to my heart but um that's the only way to get it to move up so now that i got it moved up i'll do that side to get everything in place i gotta figure out how to hold these straps in place without these boards being here because i don't think they can be there once i start putting the bulkheads in and if I take them out, obviously it's going to collapse again. So I figure out how to do that. Anyway, let me get the other side done now. All right, so I have got the sides leveled. The, 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 the sides need to be leveled. I have the beam leveled. So it's level across this way. It's level across that way. It took a little bit of work. So now I'm working on the bulkhead. Here's one of the bulkheads right here. So I'm just kind of lining it all up. Uh, just put some duct tape at the end to hold it all together. And now I'm just kind of checking for square. All the way down. Great camera work, I know. And um, I'm gonna check it over here. And then in the corner. And once, once I have a good feel for where it is, I'll then gonna anchor it from here, anchor it here. Um, and then anchor it in the corner. Uh, then that's a, just like three screws, just to kind of hold it in place, and then I'll do the same on the other side. So this is an interesting development. Um, I, have a le I have a squared here, squared there, leveled here and there, so it's in perfect form. I drove a screw through here to hold this part in pa place, part of the bulkhead. <laughs> this is an inch thick and I really don't want to cut into the transom so I'm not putting a screw in there I'm trying to think of something I could do here but this is the conundrum it's level and square and so I want to obviously I want to you know I want to tack it into place but I can't reach it I, I can't I can't get there from here I even have a step I'm six four and I even have a step stool and I can't get to it. What the hell am I going to do? So I'm really frustrated. 
um, a, I figured the scarfing and the sides and all the big pieces were the difficult part. But um, there's nothing compared to one corner bulkhead. I've been at this for hours. Um, the good thing is it points out the, the inconsistencies and the incorrectness of the pitch of the bottom of the boat. But everything else is predicated on the current pitch of the boat. The, the, the beams, the, the ties, everything is based on, on the pitch. And since the pitch apparently is incorrect, and apparently the, the measurement of the transom is wholly inaccurate, even though uh, my sizes are correct, but it's not, as you can tell, it's not even close. I have to figure out how to flatten out the stern. Like, what I have to do is I gotta flatten out the transom of the stern. I gotta flatten this part out. So I gotta, I gotta decrease the gap right here. There's a gap. You can see that. So I have to flatten the stern out. Which is which is irritating because I only have this massive three quarters of an inch gap on the transom, and so when I flatten it out, this this gap is probably going to increase to over an inch, inch and a half, which is really ir irritating because that means that the transom simply doesn't fit. And what do I do? It's going to be really incorrect. And it's really frustrating. It means that the original measurements that were given to me were really incorrect. So, um, I don't know. Right now, I'm, I'm right now. I've been trying to level. I've been level level of these pieces. I'm having. I'm using shims now. Right now, as you can see, I got the shims going in to try to make them level because obviously. Obviously, but this needs to be level. This piece needs to be level, and the other pieces on the other side need to be level, so the seat will sit on top, level. And it's I'm inches away, not not eight sixteenths or eights, but full inches. And the irritating part is I double checked all these cuts. These cuts are within a sixteenth of an inch of the of the documentation, so. I'm, really frustrated right now so I think I think maybe um, I don't know I think maybe I don't know what I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put the shim but I think I'm gonna do it the shims in but get it level if I can figure if I can get the level from here to here get these level with the shims in it then I can realize how much I have to lower the the, the bottom of the boat to get it, get the shims out of there because these these are also within a, easily within a quarter of an inch would be inaccurate, more like eighth or sixteenth, so they should be accurate. So I'm really frustrated. Look at that. All right, so made a lot of progress. Um, you know, lift up the the sides. I now have the the, the, the hatches in place. Here's the floor, the sole. Here's the Ford bulkhead all in place. Um, I also have the seat. This is the stern seat. Um, went ahead and rounded the corner with the rounder router bit, um, make it nice and comfortable because it's gonna be the top part to be sitting on. That's where the fuel tank lines and stuff will go. And these are the sides, obviously couple things though um, these angles are just killing me the first thing I'm having an issue with is here's the sole of the floorboard right here it overhangs it overhangs the forward bulkhead and I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix that that forward bulkhead can't go up any further unless I start cutting it um, that's the first issue other issues I still have are these gaps here and here and up in the forward bulkhead even here so can't help but believe, help but think that the angle of the sides of the boat are incorrect, and this is what's causing the floor to be out of alignment as well. So there you go. Kind of gives you an idea. 
um, what should it look like. Uh, the settings aren't specific, aren't, aren't exact right now. I see here's more angle issues here, back here, back here, right there, right there. They're probably not that big of a deal. Dr. John was like, don't worry about this epoxy, but, but you know, I want it to be perfect. I want, I want that quarter inch gap to be there. Hmm. Frustrating. All right, so it's cold and rainy out. So today I'm just going to do some sanding, clean things up. Um, I'm still stuck with this one, this, this predicament, this, this, it's all one thing. Um, I can't get the, uh, the seat, the bulkhead flush with the transom because it's too wide right there and too narrow right there. Neither the, um, the supports right there, they are about two inches too long, as is the floorboard which I took out. The floorboard's also about two inches too long, so nothing's fitting properly here. In addition, this doesn't fit straight because it's too tight right here and on the other side, which leaves a gap in the bow. So this spreader is supposed to be five foot, five inches, at least for this boat. And that's what this is. But my, th I'm, I'm thinking the actual issue is this is pushing the middle out too far which is causing everything else to cup in. So I'm thinking if I remove this, put a spreader up here to help pull this right here apart, this will slide up. And then I do the same back here. This would slide back. And then also what would happen, and here's the other spreader right here. Well, that's not really a spreader, it's, it's just straight. And as you can see, it doesn't fit right now. Not only does it not fit, not only does it not fit, but there's, there's a gap of an inch. Um, and so my thinking is, remove this, the sides will come in, and I can push the outsides out a little bit further, which will also bring this in. And by bringing this, this in, it will lengthen the boat as well. Hopefully that makes sense because it kind of makes sense in my head. I'm just wondering if I should do it because. All right, so um, I've been struggling with the, uh, the 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 inches and things being off mark, and I finally decided. You know what? Stuff's gonna happen. A half inch here is a. Two inches over here. As long as it's level, as long as the as long as all the pieces meet properly, I'm just going to sand off whatever else and basically just cut it to fit. You know, and I think um, I think that's going to make it all work because you know that long as long as it's as long as it's level on both sides, and as long as you know everything is proper and it's square, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So I ended up doing two things. First, I removed the spreader, and that kind of helped all the alignments up front, just like I had hoped, uh, come into play. Uh, so the sole would fit, and the side beams would also fit. And then what I also did in the stern, I decided to go ahead and just match the bottom of the boat to the transom pitch, and that kind of brought all that into, into adjustment as well. So once I get done with all that, um, everything was much, pretty much smoother, and like I said earlier, I decided I'll just epoxy any gaps, accounting for any discrepancies in, in my cuts and, and my application of the boat. Like I said, the whole thing was make sure it was square and uh, it was equal on both sides, and uh, that made the biggest difference. So with that conundrum out of the way, I was able to start looking at the next steps, which would be the epoxy between the seams and filling in any gaps that I had, and that's where I planned to go. So uh, thanks for getting, or thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm trying to get, like I said, I'm trying to get on a regular basis and um, look forward to the next pieces. And it gets all pretty exciting. Looks like it starts looking like a real boat.